Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CHI 2017. Please welcome to the stage your conference chairs, Sue Fussell and Gloria Mark. Can you believe it? We made it. Welcome to Denver, beautiful Denver and CHI 2017. We are your general chairs. I'm Gloria Mark. I'm Sue Fussell. And we'd like to start by thanking our wonderful sponsors. Special thanks to our champion sponsor, Bloomberg. Yay. Special thanks to champion sponsor, Facebook. Thanks to champion sponsor, Google. Special thanks to champion sponsor, IBM. Special thanks to champion sponsor, Microsoft. Special thanks to our champion sponsor, the National Science Foundation. Special thanks to champion sponsor, Yahoo. Special thanks to our sponsors, Autodesk Dynamics, Dynamic Graphics Project and Toyota Research Institute. And thanks to Friends of Kai, Adobe Systems, and Disney Research. And last, CHI would not be possible without the support of ACM and SIG CHI. We give our many thanks. So we're happy to announce we have almost 2,900 attendees. And of these, about 42% are first-time CHI attendees. So yay, first-time CHI attendees. Uh, people come from 53 countries from all over the world. Um, and we want to talk a little about some of the themes of the program. So one of our themes is diversity and inclusiveness. And to that end, we have four special kinds of events. First, we have the diversity lunch, a carryover from last year, where you'll be able to come and hear lots of people talk about their experiences. It's going to be a great event, and that's on Tuesday. Also, in response to some of the things that have been going on in the world, we have three special sessions. First, a panel on Wednesday morning about policy impacts on HCI research. Another panel on Thursday morning on HCI and the US 2016 political campaign. And, and finally, a SIG on uh, Thursday afternoon on taking action in a changing world. Also, we're carrying on uh, an activity that we started in Korea of trying to provide some support for non-native English speakers. This time, we have a special custom tool that was built for the conference that allows native speakers to annotate in real time some of the slides and select sessions so that non-native speakers can have a better understanding of what's going on. So we urge people who are interested in this to look at the program, see which sessions it is, and try it out. It will be really great. And finally, because of the visa issues that we were anticipating and because of other reasons that people can't travel to the US right now, we have 14 beams available for remote attendance. So and they're all booked, so far as I understand. So yay, beams. And telepresence also allows journalists to attend the conference remotely. And we are very pleased to have some journalists. So we have Manoush Zamarati from NPR, who will do her show, Note to Self, live from inside of a robot at the conference. We have Emily Dreyfus from Wired, and Paul Marks, freelancer who publishes in New Scientist and other publications. Mm -hmm. 
Our conference theme this year, Explore, Innovate, and Inspire, informed the planning of our conference, and we came up with some innovations this year. And I am very pleased to announce our premier event this year, Kai Stories. Now, what is Kai Stories? So, you know, we come to Kai, we hear the research, but we know very little about the personalities behind the research. So, Kai Stories, think of it as Kai's version of a TED Talk mixed with NPR's The Maw. So this is a chance for members of our community to tell very personal stories about what inspired them, what transformed them, what made them who they are. These are short stories, five to eight minutes. We invite you Tuesday, 6 to 8 p.m. And guess what? We have 300 free drink tickets to the first 300 people who show up, and then cash <laughs> bar after. Uh, we are also very pleased to have a spectacular art exhibit this year. Uh, the art exhibit is called I'll Be Watching You. And this is comprised of 13 juried and invited works. And the sneak preview is during Monday afternoon's break. We also have really amazing plenaries. Our opening plenary is Neri Oxman. We'll say a little bit more in a bit. Uh, Tuesday's plenary is Ben Schneiderman, longtime member of the Kai community, is going to be talking about the trajectory of Kai and its dramatic growth. Wednesday's plenary, we are so pleased to have Whale Gonim. Uh, he's credited for starting the Arab Spring movement. He's also a Nobel Prize nominee. And last, our closing plenary is Nicholas Carr, best-selling author. He writes about uh, how technology is changing our lives. We also have a very special event. We have Kai history videos that are going to be shown at the beginning of each day, Tuesday through Thursday. And these are videos comprised of photos from Ben Schneiderman's comprehensive photo collection of Kai. So we'd now like to welcome to the stage Vicki Hansen, ACM president. Hi, it's really great to see so many of you out there. It's a full house, great. So I'm an HCI researcher, and I am the first ACM president to come from the Sig Chi community. Yeah. So this is a real pleasure for me to be here. Thank you. And I also grew up in Denver. I don't know how many of you are locals. I went to East High School. No? No angels out there? Okay. Anyway, so it's really a thrill to come home, particularly to this great conference. I've been asked to take just a few minutes to let you know about ACM. ACM is a volunteer-driven society, and it's the world's oldest and largest computing society for researchers and practitioners. Globally, ACM reaches roughly 3 million professionals and students in computing and related fields through its technical, scientific, and education activities. One of our most visible activities is our conferences. And every year, ACM sponsors more than 170 conferences worldwide. And CHI, of course, is one of the largest and most prestigious of our conferences. That said, though, I know that it's been a hard decision for some of you to decide to come this year. And I appreciate the Sig Chi and the Chi leadership for their many efforts to help attendees who may not have been able to travel to Denver. For ACM, the last few months have raised a number of challenging issues for us. As a scientific organization, ACM has an open conference policy committed to the prohibition of discrimination in any form. That said, we recognize the challenges of this principle in our global environment. And I'm very interested in hearing from all of you throughout the week about ways in which our communities are working to address these challenges. Before stepping off, I just want to mention one of the major events that's happening in ACM this year. 
ACM has a very active awards program, with a particular highlight being the AM Turing Award. Given annually, this Turing Award carries a million dollar prize from Google, and it's considered by many to be the Nobel Prize of Computing. This year, ACM is celebrating 50 years of the Turing Award with an event to be held at the end of June. The event will bring together a number of Turing laureates, along with other award recipients and figures for a day and a half of discussions about computing and future directions. There'll be a number of students attending this celebration, and I know that Sig Chi is personally sponsoring a number of students to attend. Also in attendance will be members of ACM's new Future of Computing Academy. These are members representing new generations of computing professionals. Registration for this Turing 50th event was immediately oversubscribed. So for those of you who are not able to attend, the event will be live streamed and then videos put online so that you can view them there. So I want to thank you for your time. And now it's my pleasure to introduce the Sig Chi president, Lauren Terveen. Good morning, everybody. It's a real pleasure to say a few words of welcome on behalf of Sig Chi. And since 1,200 of you have never been here before, it's even possible some of you may not exactly know what Sig Chi is. Well, we are ACM's special interest group on computer-human interaction. And you can find out more about us at our website, new.sigchi.org. You can find out about us by following us on Twitter, at at SigChi, and we're tweeting about that even as we speak. Now, what does SigChi do? Well, our most visible thing is that we sponsor conferences. In addition to sponsoring CHI, we sponsor 23 other conferences, more than any other ACM special interest group. And while there's about 3,000 people here, every year for the past few years, 9,000 people have been attending our conferences, which happen around the world. And if you want to find out more about our conferences and what uh, is going to be happening, check out the URL uh, that you're seeing right there. Now, we actually have some banners for each of our conferences. They're on the concourse up on the next floor. So and when you're on break, go by, find out what our conferences are about. They don't quite range from A to Z, but they do range from auto UI to virtual reality software and technology. So I think we pretty much cover this space. We are an international organization. And this map shows where our sponsored and in cooperation conferences are going to happen over the next few years. Uh, you can see there's some in North America, some in Asia, and a lot in Europe over the next few years. Now, just like ACM as a whole, SIGCHI is a volunteer-driven organization. And uh, you can see here the pictures of the, of the SIGCHI Executive Committee. We all have these very handsome uh, purple ribbons on our badges. So I would encourage you, when you have the chance and you see anybody, stop us, have a conversation, tell us what's on your mind and what we can do to make this community even better. And while I have these pictures up, I do want to mention one particular thing. One of the biggest responsibilities our volunteers have is overseeing not just the CHI conference, but this large family of conferences. And for many years, the volunteer who did this was Scooter Morris. He has recently stepped aside to a different role within SIGCHI, and it's taken two people to replace him, Aaron Quigley and Philippe Palanque. And I just want to take this chance to acknowledge and thank Scooter for his longstanding and continuing service. So you might wonder, what else does SIGCHI do in addition to sponsoring conferences? Well, we're doing lots of things, but I wanted to break them out into two main categories. We're really focused on supporting and growing the HCI community around the world, and we're also wanting to be efficient and effective in how we manage our activities, our conferences, our publications, and our infrastructure. Now, if you want to find out more about this latter activity, 
Uh, come to the Sigkai Town Hall Wednesday at lunch, and I'll say a little bit more about that later. I also, at this moment, want to take a chance to say a few things about our support for the community. So we have a number of things we're doing. We have a development fund that is open to all members of our community to help them engage in activities to develop, to grow the community. Right now, we're supporting seven summer and winter schools that are happening all over the world this year that are gonna help students learn more about many aspects of HCI. We're supporting internationalization, diversity, and inclusion events at our conferences. And this year and the previous year, we've supported the HCI Across Borders Symposium here at the CHI Conference, which has brought dozens of people from around the world to learn, to share, to network, and to participate in the global HCI community. We also have a conferences development fund that all our conferences can draw on to support new and innovative activities. And then finally, we have lots of funds that support students in participating in our conferences and other events like the ACM Turing Celebration Award that Vicki mentioned. Now, as I said, we have a few events here at CHI 2017 uh, that we're hosting. Today at lunch, there is a video lunch where you can find out more about our family of conferences. We've got some great videos that show off what each of these conferences does. And I believe right about now, we're going to tweet a teaser video for that, uh, for that event. And very importantly, for the first 200 people who show up, you get a free lunch. Okay. Now, Wednesday at lunch, we have the town hall meeting where the executive committee reports to the community on what we're doing and has a chance to engage in questions and discussion with everybody. Again, I really encourage people to show up, and again, we have free lunch. And then finally, as Vicki and I have both mentioned, we're all volunteer-driven, and on Wednesday afternoon, we have a special interest group, a SIG, on how to become a volunteer in our community, and I hope many of you can participate in that as well. Now, one other thing we have going on here is we have a number of volunteers working with the executive committee. They've got these very handsome stickers on that says, let's talk about SIGCHI. And they're going to be going around asking you a few questions, trying to ask people a few questions about their experience and their perspectives on our community. And we hope if you are, uh, if any of them come up to you, you'll participate in a conversation with them. Now, uh, one thing I wanted to mention is, after many years, SIGCHI is actually rolling out a new website. Currently, it lives at the, website, at the URL new.sigchi.org, and this is live right now. I hope you'll all check it out. We have a feedback tab, and click on it, and please give us some feedback on what you think about it and how we can make it even better. Now, my last job is a, a very pleasant one. I get, to, uh, I get to announce the recipients of our annual SIGCHI Awards, which recognize people in our community for their outstanding achievements and service. And I'd like to ask you to please hold your applause until I've had a chance to, uh, to announce all the award recipients. So first, this year's recipient of the Lifetime Achievement in Research is Brad Myers. Lifetime Achievement in Practice is Ernest Edmonds. And then we have a number of inductees into our SIGCHI Academy. Elizabeth Andre and Lori Craner. Vicki Hansen and Marty Hurst. Gloria Mark and Philippe Polanc. And Paul Resnick and Thad Starner. We also have two recipients of our Social Impact Award, Jacob Wobrock and Indrani Mehdi Thies. And then finally, we have two recipients of our Lifetime Service Award, Scott Hudson and Zhengji Lu. 
And now at this time, I'd like to thank you and welcome you again, and then welcome Gloria and Sue back onto the stage. So we'd now like to introduce our technical program chairs, Cliff Lampy and MC Schrapel. Guys. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. We are your technical program chairs. And what does that mean? The technical program is basically all of the content that's been submitted by you. It is the curated, the reviewed, everything that you have uh, submitted and made available to the CHI conference this week. And that takes a little bit of work. We start off, actually, with a program committee uh, of people who organize things like the workshops and the symposia. We have a, over 100 people who worked in this role. If you worked in this role for Kai this year, could you please stand up to be recognized? This is the organizing committee. All right. We also have people who served in exceptional roles as ACs for the Papers and Late Breaking Work program. They found reviewers for papers and made sure that all of the content received the attention and love that it needed. So if you served as an AC for either Late Breaking Work or Papers this year, could you please stand? Thank you so much for your service. Stay standing, actually, stay standing. I'm gonna ask you to volunteer for more stuff later. That's why I need to identify you. Also, this year we had individual reviewers. We had actually uh, over 10,000 reviews for content submitted for CHI this year by over 4,000 individual reviewers. If you reviewed in any capacity for the CHI conference this year, could you please stand to be recognized? Stay standing, please. And finally, and most importantly, we have people who submitted their content to Kai for review. MC and I are both Kai authors. We know how much blood, sweat, and tears goes into this work, and we so appreciate you taking a risk on Kai as the home for that work. So if you submitted content to Kai this year, could you please stand to be recognized? <laughs> Take a look around you, shake some hands. This is the Kai community, and these are the people who are driving the community forward, and we appreciate you. The, have a seat now, thanks. I was just kidding about getting you to volunteer some more today. Uh, the CHI 2017 technical program is filled with uh, scope and scale, everything from art programs to papers and panels and case studies, including a really exciting video showcase and uh, student games exhibition following the opening plenary this morning immediately. Lots of great stuff going on uh, overall. And we had a strong start this weekend to begin with. Hundreds of people participated in workshops and symposia. Symposia are relatively new for the CHI conference and our semi-permanent meetings that take place. Great topics were covered all weekend long. We also had the largest doctoral consortium in Kai's history conducted yesterday, where uh, uh, graduate students received mentorship and feedback from some Kai luminaries and, and leading uh, leaders in the field, leading leaders. We also had the career development workshop. This is for junior researchers who receive uh, mentorship and guidance from more senior Kai folks to help guide them in their careers, a really nice effort. Kai for Good took place for the second year in a row. Uh, we had nine nonprofit organizations participating with over 55 Kai volunteers, providing almost 500 hours of help yesterday uh, for specific uh, Kai HCI research uh, helping these nonprofit organizations. And everything went beautifully, and everybody, both the participants and the nonprofits, left extremely happy yesterday. So this week at CHI, there are as many as 19 parallel sessions going on at any one time, which is a lot. Over a dozen types of content spread over those sessions. And thousands of smart and cool people and one James Fogarty, all available for you to speak to uh, while you're here at the conference. One way you can make sense of all this content is uh, uh, expert reviewers have decided best, uh, best of in different categories and also honorable mentions. If you see these icons next to any content in your program, this indicates special uh, awards for the content that you've seen. So how do I keep track of all this, you ask yourself, and there's lots of different ways. Uh, your Kai, beautiful Kai program in your bags you receive when you register has a great overview of all the content taking place this week. We also have the web program, which is available at chi2017.acm.org, with special thanks to Zhi Ying Wang for her incredible work on this over the course of the year. 
the good, our good friends at ACM have made the online proceedings available and they're open access for a good bit of time here. So really, uh, send them to your friends, send them to your family, get them to download papers. Now it's time to spread the good word about all the wonderful content that we have available at Kai this year. There's a mobile application available on both iOS and Android. I hear mobile is big with the kids these days. And you can go to YouTube. SIGKAI runs a YouTube uh, channel that has lots of good content. Here, for instance, you can find preview videos for Kai content taking place throughout the week. Uh, so you can go in and every day there's a set of preview videos that you can watch on the YouTube channel. So the website has a lot of this stuff collected together. You can go there and get access to all of it. Uh, we hope you spread out and uh, check out a lot of this content. And we thank all of our volunteers who put so much work into making Kai happen this year. I feel rather odd speaking right now because I like just doing the pen and teller beside Big Cliff here. So, uh, <laughs> but I'll be very brief. The Kai technical program is most of what you guys are going to be breaking out to. You saw how many people are authors here. So to help celebrate authorness, we've asked authors to talk with each other with their sessions chairs before sessions. So the discussion has already started. It's not just going to be a bunch of papers presented statically. There's a discussion going on. Why did we think that was important? Because even though the technical program and getting published is really critical for everybody, what's even more important is the fact that you are here by either telepresence or physically actually here. What a wonderful concept that this is still happening. And thank you for being here. And so to support that, we would like to introduce a couple of concepts for you. The first one, thank you, Cliff, is osmological. The goal of this CHI and your experience at the technological program or the tech program is to have an osmological experience. And one way you can do that for sure is to have a question because why? Questions are love. You all know how it feels to have somebody give you a question. So read some papers beforehand, join in the discussion, remember to introduce yourself before you give your questions so people can find you afterwards. Because sometimes questions are one of the most memorable things about a session. So engage, please. This is a network event. And here's something a little heuristic, a mnemonic perhaps to help you with this, is don't be shy. Say hi at Kai. <laughs> Everybody do it with me, all right? Are we ready? OK. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Oh, crap. This is a room of geeks, isn't it? Yeah. Everybody in here is an introvert. Self-identify now and suck it up. OK. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Say hi at Kai. Thank you. All right. OK, a couple of quick heuristics. Leave that laptop behind just once in a while. You'll just see how it feels. Just close the lid for a few moments. See if you're OK. Check in with the person next to you to make sure they know what you're doing so they can help you out. We've talked about questions as love. One other thing, explore a session outside your domain. This is a great opportunity, as I say, to make friends and meet other introverts just like you. Give the Kai high, and for today, what we'd like to do now as we move into the plenary session is to give you two opportunities to test out your hand mobility and your typing mobility. It's using slido.com, and you can go to this hash in slido.com, the Kai 2017 room, pick plenary, and you can start asking questions that Cliff and I are going to be managing off to the side to feed up to Gloria and Sue for managing questions. But if that feels a little too technical for anybody in this room, we also have some really cool, low, uh, very high resolution screen display, no batteries required, three by five note cards that student volunteers will be passing out. Put your questions down there. I will endeavor to translate them into something that can be written by a human being or read by a human being. And those will be fed into. So we've got two means for you guys to all participate. And without further ado, I think that's it. Remember, hi, hi. We'll, uh, we'll see you later, and back to Gloria Mark and Sue. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. We don't need that. So 
I am so excited to present our opening plenary speaker. Neri Oxman is an architect, designer, and professor at the MIT Media Lab and is the founding director of the Mediated Matter Group. Neri pioneered the field of material ecology, which considers design at the intersection of computation, digital fabrication, material science, and synthetic biology. And she designs from the micro scale to the building scale. She works in application areas of architectural product and fashion design, as well as the de design of new technologies for digital fabrication and construction. Neri's work is exhibited globally and is included in permanent uh, exhibitions, permanent collections at the Museum of Modern Art, the MoMA, the Centre Georges Pompidou, the Smithsonian Institution, and many others. Neri and her team have won numerous awards, and they've been recognized at the World Economic Forum and the White House. Please welcome Neri Oxman. <laughs> 